stuff is two and five eighths thick. Okay, we're going hot. Oh, it smells like a gun too. Cease fire. <laughs> Range hot. Yeah, it does. It's holding it on there. Truck, I think. All these directions. I don't know. We couldn't find anything in the new Dura directions about these channels, um, but we assume they're for screwing the bases down. So we're just hammering it in with three concrete nails. We have a couple places where the rebar is outside of where our wall is going to be. I'm going to cut those off now and we'll just drill new holes and move them a little bit.
two apartments to the side. <laughs> two apartments. Broken off? Nope. Nope. We were I think we're in the Apartment. right apartments over here. Two of them for side wall and end wall, and then one in each corner. Fifty-four and a half. Fifty-four and a half, yeah. systems only have a T. <sighs> Alright, now I'll just stand up until we put the rock in. Hopefully this radon riser comes up in the corner of the utility closet. But it's tied into the former drain. So it should work for a radon system. So we're prepping everything to get the wall poured. And we're going to take these pieces of rebar, this piece is bent, into a, a loop. It'll loop around at least one rebar that's in the, the pilaster. And then it'll stick out into the floor. But we're going to get some more rock delivered to bring, a, bring the level up. To the point where we're going to put the foam on. We've already sealed in the corners because they don't they don't get that hairpin, but all the sides get a hairpin and the end walls. We measured out where the beam the uh, columns will be under the beam. There's going to be a 
beam that stretches across the middle for the floor joists to rest on and we measured these out and laid out these boxes where we're gonna those beams are gonna or those pillars are gonna come down and then we'll uh, pour some concrete in those whenever we do the wall if we have extra So these pieces need to go, we need two of these, you know, four inches apart. So we cut slots into the Nudera to put these hangers in. These ones are slanted because the stud ended up right on these. So after the concrete's in, we'll bend these back and make them flat. The other thing we have is we have piece of rebar just a short piece of rebar connecting three two or three of the of each hanger each of these pieces of form so these pieces of rebar will lay into these notches that we cut and then eventually they'll be part of the basement floor whenever it gets poured these pipes are in as well some of them will be they'll have a purpose right now some of them won't they're just for future in case we need them so these two on these walls on this wall and then the three on the front wall they don't really have a purpose right now uh, the ones on that wall one will be where the electric comes in one will be where the uh, septic goes out and then the other one will be where the water comes in we added some rebar to those just to bent square and you know three or four pins to hold it in place We've got some, some of the floor joists are going to rest inside of where these pilasters would go. So we've got these blocks inside that's going to leave a cavity for those to go into. So those are pretty much on all of the pilasters on the end walls because the floor joists will be in there. The other thing we did is we went ahead and put lag bolts in place. I just tied them to the rebar they're just hanging in there and when we pour if we need to put a 2x12 or a 2x8 or a 2x6 or something on here to put the subfloor and screw it into we'll, we'll have something that we can attach here not 100% needed but well at least we'll have it if we need it ready to pour <clears throat> and to prevent concrete from just filling up these you know nubs or whatever they are and to give us something to strike across we're taking six inch duct tape and putting it on the top of the wall the easiest way we found to put this tape on without getting a whole bunch of ridges is to actually use a concrete float apply it like this as you're rolling it out and then come down and push it around each side um, I was doing it with my hand at first and I was just getting the tape in between all these ridges like in between here and in between here not trying to but that's what was happening so that worked pretty good Uh, no, not over here. 
here anyway.
minorly successful pour, but we had several spots, pretty much all of them where the pilasters were, that we had to add bracing. You can see we put 2x12s on here, some extra OSB over there, um, pretty much everywhere where there was a pilaster, we braced the outside because as soon as we started pouring the two pilasters that are bigger than the other the other ones they basically just broke out the foam underneath like at the bottom and then all the concrete started pouring out and we had to panic and figure out how to do the bracing i don't know if you guys can see this but that osb is like bowed out really far we're actually afraid to move it right now until it cures but so there's a whole bunch of extra concrete on this spot but if you're doing this in the future anywhere that you cut those black braces inside the new dura you need to somehow re-brace those either with tie wire to the outside of the forms or whatever you need to do because that's that's where they all broke out this side was the worst this side broke out um i think on the second pour the second round that we did of pouring and this one broke out twice it broke out the first pour and then we kept going in that direction and then it broke out again when we completely filled this pilaster and we lost a ton of concrete in here luckily we had some concrete bags and the neighbor let us borrow some water so we was able to get enough to to refill it up because without that we didn't have enough for the for the pour in the trucks we did have a little bit of extra that was in the boom of the pump truck so we did fill up three of those four piers um so we'll just have to bag sackcrete the rest of those or whatever to fill those in here's the extent of the bracing on the south wall I think these ones we were able to see some of the some of the new dura was starting to bulge out so we added a bunch on this side it worked the best to wedge stuff up against this the back of the the dirt here uh, a little bit sketchy but it is what it is we got it done <laughs> 